Welcome back to another episode of the Red Cell series. In this episode, we shall be discussing red cell indices. Red cell indices are hematological investigations used to elucidate the etiology of anemia. They are quantitative measurements of the red cell volume, amount, and hemoglobin concentrations. Now, we won't be discussing the normal ranges, as these are usually given when you're interpreting results, and you'll come to appreciate them more as you read and interpret more results. There are also variations between males and females. Let's start with the red cell count. This is also known as the RBC, or the erythrocyte count. It defines the number of red blood cells in a litre of blood. Now, a low red cell count might suggest anemia, whereas a high red cell count might suggest polycythemia. We will come to discuss anemia and polycythemia later in the series. The red cell count is importantly used to calculate other red cell indices, including the MCV, MCH, and MCHC, as we shall see later. Now, you don't need to know how these are calculated, but I have included them for your interest and so you could appreciate the red cell indices a little more. The mean corpuscular volume, known as the MCV, defines the average size or volume of red blood cells. And this is very important. Corpuscle means cell or body. This is expressed in femtoliters and importantly, it is used to determine the cause of anemia. In fact, it is the best way to classify anemia and this is the classification that we shall use in the next episodes. It is calculated by dividing the volume of packed cells by the red cell count and this gives the mean value. Now the MCV can be characterized into three main types depending on the morphology or the size of the red cell. So these are microcytic, normocytic and macrocytic. I've included the reference ranges here because this is probably one of the most important reference ranges you need to know in terms of red cell indices. So micro means small, so these are less than 80. Normo means normal cells, so this gives you a value between 80 and 100. And macrocytic are larger cells. They are larger than normal, and this gives a value of more than 100. Now the mean corpuscular hemoglobin, or the MCH, quantifies the amount of hemoglobin per red blood cell. So this is important as well. So it is the amount of hemoglobin in each individual cell. It is measured in picograms and calculated by dividing the hemoglobin by the red cell count. Remember, hemoglobin is the main component of red cells. In fact, red cells are 99% hemoglobin. So a low value means that there is less hemoglobin in red cells. If you were to look at these cells on blood film, they would appear pale or paler than normal. And the term that we use for this is hypochromic. And we'll look at examples of this later in the series. Next, we have the mean cell hemoglobin concentration or the MCHC. This is used to define red cell hemoglobin content. However, compared to the MCH, the MCHC indicates the amount of hemoglobin per unit volume. Remember, the MCH is the mean corpuscular hemoglobin per red cell. Here, the MCHC is per unit of volume. So essentially, it is a measurement of hemoglobin density. And if you remember from physics, density equals mass divided by volume. So in this case, the MCHC is hemoglobin divided by red cell volume or the hematocrit. Now the MCHC correlates the hemoglobin content with the volume of the red cell. So it takes the volume or the size of the red blood cells into account. The hemoglobin concentration, on the other hand, is the measurement of hemoglobin within the blood. And this is very important because it is used to define 
anemia. And finally, we have the RDW, or the red cell distribution. This is a measure of red cell morphology and is expressed as a percentage. So it lets us know if the red blood cells are of similar size. Now an elevation in the RDW suggests that there is variation in the size of the red cell, which means that there is an underlying pathology that needs to be investigated. Before we move on to anemia, let us define two important terms. These are anisocytosis and poikilocytosis. And these terms are used to describe red cell morphology seen on blood film. Anisocytosis means unequal or uneven cells. So it is a variation in red cell size. Poikilocytosis is variation in the cells. So there is variation in the cell shape. So anisocytosis looks at the size, whereas poikilocytosis looks at the shape. These two usually exist together. Again, these are both seen on blood film. Please like, subscribe, and share our content with your friends and on social media pages. Our mission is to develop need to know video content and question banks that remain free for your use. We are unable to keep doing this without your support. Thank you.